name is Rachel Hutchison. I am a senior associate here at the National Head Start Association, and I am so excited to bring you this two-part webinar from our partners at uh, Sanford Harmony called How to Create a Positive Classroom Environment. And we, we put that in the quotes because we know that not all of you are in a traditional classroom, but everyone needs a positive environment. So we are gonna focus on developing healthy relationships with children. We know it's vital to their social and emotional development, and it's also vital to their, your ability to just have a pleasant experience every day working with kids. So we're gonna make sure that every interaction with kids can be a meaningful one by learning how to use some everyday practices called meet up and buddy up. So you're gonna learn about the tools and then you're gonna actually receive the toolkits. You're gonna to have these really cool cards that you can use in free. Every participant's gonna get these. If you're an ed manager, you can get a kit for every single educator that you support. You're also gonna get one of these. If you are a parent, you already have one, you're gonna get another one. So get excited, we have lots to teach you today. And without further ado, I'm gonna hand the reins over to our fabulous facilitator today, Yako Shatuko. And how did I do? Was it close? You did awesomely well, awesomely well. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're so much. patient with me. Thank you. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. How are you? How are you? Hold on, let me. I gotta look at faces when I say good morning. Good afternoon. If it's afternoon, it could be morning where you are. Let me see how many faces I see. Uh, okay, there are a lot of non faces. Let me give you the warning. At some point, you're gonna need. I'm gonna need to see your face. Not now, though. You have a little bit of a reprieve. So, hi, everybody. My name is Yako. Ya the whole name, what you see on the screen. Oh, my gosh. All those consonants. All those consonants. Yako Toro Shotuku. The easy version is Yako. No worries, Cecilia. Um, the easy version is Yako. So, if you need to ask, ask me a question or come off mute, Yako. The J is like a Y. I am a professional learning specialist with Harmony Social Emotional Learning Program. I am a Philly girl, fly, eagle, fly, Super Bowl, here we come. And I don't even really like football that much, but I'm Philly through and through. So fly, eagle, fly. Um, I'm a Philly girl that is based in Brooklyn on the planet, Brooklyn, New York. So uh, I am also a former um, New York City Board of Education teacher. I started off in the fifth grade and I went down the third grade, love third grade. The lower I go in grade, it was all the better. It was awesome. And then actually after third grade, but this was like 50 pounds ago, I taught gym and dance all in my same school, uh, PS 183 in Brownsville, Brooklyn. So welcome, welcome. Glad to see you. Um, let's do a little bit of housekeeping. Number one, yesterday and today have been horrible allergy days for me. Horrible. So I may, if I put myself on mute for a second, it might be just to blow your nose. I don't, I don't want you to hear all that. So it could be an allergy day. It is an allergy day for me, and I may need to take a, 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 a brief tissue break. Two. Um, I, my intention, my personal intention is to try not to bore you to tears. That is my personal intention. I am going to do my best to, ha to have you not be nodding. What I ask of you, though, is that you go all in. You're all in to the best of your ability. So as I'm talking, get your little sippy sips and your little pretzels and your little snacky snacks so that you can be all the way in. And that includes um, making sure you have your chat fingers ready because I'm going to be asking you some things um, and, and giving you some things to think about. And um, we are going to, we I'm going to show, but we're also going to do. Does that make sense? So get ready, get ready, get ready. Um, I think that's it for the housekeeping. Um, I will, I, I have some colleagues from social emotional, uh, from Harmony Social Emotional Learning in the chat. 
So they're going to be helping out with questions. I want you to pretend as if we were all together in person. If we were all together in person, you'd be raising your hand and asking questions like in real time. You can do that in the chat. If you have a burning question and you want to just wait to um, have me answer it, and I will be looking at the chat just in case there's something like really pertinent and important, right? But feel free to ask your questions as they come up for you in real time because there's a team here to support you. Does that make sense, everybody? I want you to go all in. I'm going to try to go all in. Let's do it. So you put in your name. You put in where you're joining us from. Hope the people in Texas with those sheets of ice are doing okay. And are, are there sheets of ice other places? I know there's the storm and then there's ice and icy roads. I hope that you're doing okay. And I'm glad in spite of everything that you made it, yeah? So we're actually gonna start off participating. Some of you are like, oh my gosh, I thought I had a second. But no, those of you who are ready, let's do it. So I'm gonna do the names chant right just to get us started and i'm actually going to use the uh i'm going to actually lean on rachel to help me with this name chant and then rachel is going to choose one of you to do the name chant with us here it goes we have rachel rachel is here today here is what rachel wants to say say whatever you want rachel I say that I love Harmony, and I think the Z doll is adorable. Awesome. Rachel, use the same chant and pick a guess. Okay. All right. Can you put that chant in the chat so it's not quite so scary? Sure. Are you having difficulty seeing it? <laughs> okay. Oh, it's right in front of my face. Okay. So I'm going to pick somebody else, right? You're going so to do the same have, chant and pick someone else. All right. We have Nicole Helfman is here today. Here's what Nicole wants to say. And I'm going to ask my co-partner so that she can give Nicole permission to unmute herself so she can answer. I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> Anything you want. It's a good day. Awesome, Nicole. Fly beanie. I love it. I'm a fan of I'm a fan of the beanie hat. I, I bought I bought about 10 from Gap of every color. I don't have a hat that I don't have a beanie that if there's a color, I've got it. Uh, so thank you, Nicole, for being such an awesome sport. Let's jump in. Today I am going to be talking with you. So we're having two sessions together, right? And so I'm going to be talking with you today about Harmony Goals and Meetup. And then in the next session, we'll do Buddy Up, we'll get on the portal. We're going to get on the portal a little bit today, but that is our goal today. Does that make sense, everybody? And again, I'm counting on you to be all in. To the best of your ability, be all in. Let's go. So social emotional learning. I kind of think you know what it is already. You've done a professional learning on it already. You kind of know what it is. But I just wanted to have a working definition of, of what we can all agree on. We already know that social emotional learning has to do with empathy, has to do with maintaining and supporting relationships, has to do with emotions, right? But one of the lesser known definitions is building healthy identities, right? Part of social emotional development is building healthy identities. That is what you do every day, whether you know it or not. And so we're thinking about the children being themselves, being comfortable in their own skin, being comfortable with the way that they look, being comfortable with how they sound, whether they have an accent or no accent, whether or not they were a citizen or a naturalized citizen. We all are creating spaces where we where we want our children to feel at home when they're in our presence. No? The castle, have you ever heard of castle? The collaborative for academic social emotional learning? We are a castle select 
program, which means that they took all of our materials and they interrogated them to make sure that we were, and we are, evidence-based, research-based, and a solid program that pre-K to six technically can use. Does that make sense? And so the castle core social competence, social emotional competencies are self-management, responsible decision-making, relationship skills, social awareness, and self-awareness. Those are the five core. If you are going to have any social, of course, there are more than that, but if you're going to have any social emotional learning competencies, these are the five core that you have to have. Does that make sense? Let me ask you something. Put this in the chat. Which ones do you have a difficulty either executing or do your children have a difficulty uh, coming to or developing? Put that in the chat. Self-management, responsible decision-making, relationship skills, social awareness, and self-awareness. And then I think I'm going to call on somebody to see what they if they can explain themselves just a bit. So I see self-management. I see relationship skills. <clears throat> I see, uh, what else do I see? Either you're having a difficulty getting to it or the children are having a difficulty having a breakthrough in that area. Let me call on someone. I just want to hear from you to see what your difficulty is. Uh, Ms. Dina Davis. What's your difficulty or have a difficult time executing? You could come off mute or put it in the chat. Staff following protocol and training that has been set up for SEL. Got you. And but uh, the, our, our question was, or oh, what you see on the screen, the core competencies, self-management, responsible decision-making, realist relationship skills, social awareness, and self-awareness. What is the most what is the biggest challenge that you're facing in, in getting your children to get a breakthrough in one of these areas? Which one would you say was the most challenging? I have another staff here with me and she's saying responsible decision making, but I think it's uh-huh. Uh -huh. That's interesting. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for sharing that so much. Um, okay, so I want you to know that the social emotional learning skills that you will be learning about today are going to help you to help the children, okay? Um, you should know, this study was done by The Economist, you should know that there are desired skills for work. Most people are not fired because they didn't know how to do an Excel spreadsheet, or they weren't so well versed in, uh, you know, they weren't so tech savvy, right? Most people are fired because they don't have adequate social emotional learning skills, right? Let me put it in plain language. They have an attitude. They don't do well with their boss. They don't follow directions well, right? They don't know how to think and do and have good problem solving, right? These are the main reasons why people are fired. Look at what is needed in the workplace. Problem solving, teamwork, communication. Those are the top three, right? And as you're thinking about your children and you are preparing them for life, you also want to prepare them for these kinds of skills. You want them to go into the job prepared. Does that make sense, everybody? So these skills that you are learning, these skills that you are learning will help you to do that. Get your chat fingers ready. This is one of my favorite slides. You know why? because it lets you know what's important as you take on a tool of social emotional learning. This is a continuum. And this continuum tells us this. You can get any social emotional program, Harmony or anyone else, but it's not gonna be supremely effective unless there are other components 
on the continuum. So let's just say there's harmony in the middle, right? We've got our everyday practices. We've got our lessons and activities. But look at what else is important to have well-rounded children. Number one, adult SEL. How can you teach SEL skills when you yourself are not that great? Am I the only one who's, who's, who's talked to an adult that doesn't have really good SEL skills? Am I by myself? Am I on an island? Right? So we've talked to someone who you're thinking in your head, my goodness, they don't really have good communication skills. How are they working with children? Right? We've, we've met adults like this, right? And so adult SEL, culturally responsive practices are also very important. Now, what does this mean? Typically, people think, oh, well, I should, I should do a rap or uh, I should wear a sombrero, uh, we should have Indian day and eat Indian food. That's not what culturally res responsive practices is solely about. Culturally responsive practices is meeting children where they are, right? And where are our children? Summon, Xbox, uh, uh, PS 5082, uh, this is where our children are. They are gamers, they're on games, they're on social media, right? So we want to meet them where they are. And so we will try anything we can. You all, as, as leaders of children, you will try anything you can to get them involved, won't you? We have to understand that we have to meet them where they are. Someone might not be on mute, just check. Okay, so take a look at the other parts of the continuum. Trauma-informed care. Do you know how to deal with trauma? Do you know that trauma looks different on every child depending on what it is? Do you know that not knowing where your next meal is gonna come from is trauma? Did you know that? Did you know that not having a stable place to live is trauma? You might not recognize it. You think bruises and cuts are only trauma. There's trauma in a lot of different forms. We have to be up on it, and we have to understand this, as we have one of the most important jobs in our land is dealing with and working with children. And then the notes that you make, the data for continuous improvement. What did you notice about your children? How are you going to move the needle with Johnny? He came in and he doesn't want to talk to anyone and he's shy. How can you use SEL to move the needle with him? Here's my question for you. And let me see how many people there are so I know how many people to harass. 79 minus me and about five other people. Okay, so that's 74 of you. I want to know what you expect to happen from the implementation of a social emotional learning program. I want you to put it in the chat. 74 responses. What are you expecting? With, the, with these tools of social emotional learning, what are you expecting? And what do you want to see in your classroom? Expecting to be more empathetic with your children that you serve. Thank you, Todd B. 73 more. A positive climate, more self-aware, strategies that would help a behavior, a lot of pushback from staff, but increased awareness of emotions. Rebecca, I thank you for that, uh, for that honesty. Lots of times, I know, I was a teacher. I went through professional learning. Many, many people are like, oh, another thing to do. But if you've got a tool that's going to help your child in today's climate, then you've got to be up on it, right? Positive relationships, positive relationships. Want to see children more able to understand their emotions and verbalize them. Thank you. Classroom family, love it, love it, love it. Empathy, got it. Behavior management, I want to see everybody's on here. Keep them rolling. I'm going on to the next slide, but I believe me, I'm not going to forget. I want everybody's input on that, all 72 or 73 of you. Classroom staff. You know, a lot of you are putting classroom staff. I like that because this is going to help both you and your children. 
this is the harmony this is the harmony structure this is what you're going to be working with this is your tool we are going i want you to think about harmony in two ways there are the things that you will do every day the things that you will do every day those are the harmony practices harmony goals meet up buddy up yeah and then there are the lessons and activities that you could do or not totally up to you you've got to make this program work for you and your class right so today we're talking about harmony goals and we're talking about meet up let's get into it if you need something to write with, I'm about to give you a lot of information. So grab something to write with or take pictures of the screen as I see some people doing. Let's talk about harmony goals and what they are. There are two kinds of harmony goals. There are class harmony goals and there are personal harmony goals. Let's talk about the class ones first. Let's see, every day that you come into uh, your room and you create your environment, you have certain expectations, right? You have certain expectations. Kids are not, uh, there's a this kind of a written and an unwritten set of rules that govern your classroom. And then there's a set of rules that govern the children's behavior. They're not allowed to just do anything, are they? What are the, what are the, the agreements? that govern your class behavior. That is what the class harmony goals are. They are an answer to this question. How do you think we should treat each other when we're together? That's the question that your class is going to answer. How do you think we should treat one another when we are all together and that's in the classroom in the hallway in the bathroom in the cafeteria whenever we are together how do you think we should treat one another you are going to ask your children that how should we how should we treat each other when we are all together does that make sense everybody we're asking that because we need the class to agree right we need the class to agree on what is important. So this is how you're going to do it. You're going to talk with the children and give them some and ask them this question. Just what I asked. How do you think we, we should treat each other when we're together? Here is what you are going to do. You're going to write down every contribution. So whatever the kids say, you are going to take a piece of chart paper or write it down on your whiteboard. Everything that the children say, we should be nice, we should be kind, uh, we shouldn't hurt one another, we shouldn't judge one another, or we shouldn't laugh at one another. Whatever they say, you are the facilitator and you're gonna write everything down. Does that make sense? Because this is not about you. It's about the children and, and creating an environment where they play an active role. Even if they're two years old, three years old or four years old. You are setting them up for a democratic way of living, a community that they play a part in, that they're not just existing in, but that they play a part in. Does that make sense, everybody? So you'll write down every answer. Then what you're going to do, let's just say you have 10 answers, right, that the children gave you. You are going to write down your top three or top four. Does that make sense? You're gonna get them to, to hone in with a little nudging from you. You're gonna get them to hone in on the top three. What are the ones that are absolutely important? You could take a poll, you could take a vote, however you do it, yeah? You're gonna get them to write down the top three. This is an example actually of a Harmony Goals Board in Washington, in, uh, Washington huh? in New York City. You see the goals on the board at the top? But look at the bottom. Every child is going to sign their name to this agreement, right, if they can. Okay? Everybody is going to sign their name or you're going to write their name for them. But listen, you're going to take a vote. Johnny, do you agree? Yes. I'm writing Johnny's name. Sally, do you agree that we should blah, blah, and blah? Yes. I'm going to write your name because you agree. 
Does that make sense, everyone? It is a level of accountability that could happen even if with a two-year-old or a three-year-old. So you're going to write every child's name down if they agree, and then you are going to post them somewhere in your room because we're not done. We're not making those. These are not New Year's Eve resolutions, okay? These are goals. And in goals, we check up on goals. We check to see if we're doing okay. And so I'm going to share with you the mechanism that we use for community and accountability. Are there any questions about harmony goals? You can put it in the chat or you can come off mute. Is everybody clear? about the process for creating harmony goals with your children. Think about it. Think about your children. Everything that I'm talking with you about, I want you to think about your kids. Who's going to be game? Who's not going to be game? I'm going to tell you the truth. Even though I now work for Harmony SEL, whenever we come out with something new, I think about my fifth grade classes. Because my fifth graders would tell me everything they thought, no matter how I felt about it. They were very vocal, right? Uh, and so they would always let me know if they had a problem with something that was going on, right? So I always think about them as, as we gain, as we create new products. And so I want you to think about your children. Who's going to be down? Who's going to say, who, who's indifferent? Who are you going to have to get buy-in from, even at age two? Who's half listening to you and kind of looking over to wonder when we're going to start playing blocks? What are you going to have to do for buy-in to get them to understand how serious and important this is? Think about that. So the next set of goals, everyone, are personal harmony goals. Let me tell you what personal harmony goals are. They are the opportunity for children to work on themselves, okay? Personal harmony goals are the opportunity for children to work on themselves. You do this already, but isn't it good to have something that codifies what you're doing, to have a method for what you're doing? We're always talking to children about their strengths and their challenges and their weaknesses. But guess what? We need to invite them into the process, okay? Oh, Johnny, I don't want you to do that. That's not nice. Well, where's his, where's his or her part in it? Where's, where's their responsibility in this process, right? We want to invite children to be a part of their development and a part of their growth. Does that make sense, everybody? We're leaving them out of it. They've got to take the responsibility to be a part of it, right? So personal harmony goals are an opportunity to work on, even at one or two years old, self-regulation, awareness of their bodies, awareness of their mind, awareness of how they show up in the world. We're waiting too late, right? Junior high is too late. Not that it can't be fixed and worked on, but believe me, as a fifth grade teacher, I had to undo a lot of dysfunction. I'm just telling the truth. I had to do a, I had to undo a lot that if it had started in preschool, that if it had started in Head Start, I would have an easier go of it. You all are doing a yeoman's job of development of children. And so the more we take in and the more we know, the better we are with our children. Does that make sense, everybody? So here is the process for personal harmony goals. Number one, you're going to talk about personal goals. Here's, here's how we can describe it. Can I give you an example? John, class, what are you really good at? What do you really, what do you really like to do? What are you really at? excited about. And some kid's going to go, I like to draw. Uh, I like to ride my bike. Uh, I, I, um, I like to watch TV, whatever it is, right? So we get them excited about what they're really good at. And then we ask them this. What's, what's, what do you find difficult? What's really hard for you to do? What's a challenge for you? Right? 
and we can give them some examples, right? Um, do you get really frustrated when you can't build when you can't build something? Do you get really frustrated? Do you get really upset when somebody doesn't share their toy with you, right? It's not about the toy at all. It's about the sharing, right? We're talking about these skills. Frustration is the key. That's the one we're working on. So as we get them to talk about their challenges and what is very difficult for them, that's where we capture them. So we say, Johnny, I thank you so much for telling me that you get really frustrated. You know what I want to do? I want to make it better for you. I want you to think about when you get frustrated. And I'm going to help and support you to be less frustrated because I don't want you to be frustrated. I want you to be happy all the time, right? And so I want to help you. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to make, I'm going to have you set a goal about what frustrates you or what challenges you. So Johnny, you say you get frustrated? We're going to write that down. Sally, do you get really angry sometimes? We're going to write that down. And we're going to work on those things. You don't have to be angry all the time. I'm going to give you some tools to help you to be less angry. Does that make sense, everyone? People have to begin to work on themselves, even at three, even at two, right? It is not all on us. It's them. They the, listen, the truth of the matter is they are the ones with the challenge. You are there to support them, inform them, and educate them, and also to let them know this. They don't have to be stuck. You don't have to be stuck with frustration. You don't have to live that way. You can be happy. This is the first, you all are the first line of defense for letting them know that you don't have to be stuck there. You can actually work on yourself and get better. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes, no, maybe so? All right. So you'll set the stage. You'll consider their personal weaknesses, consider their strengths, and look at this. Every child is going to get this. A personal harmony goals chart. Now, for you that have the super young ones, you're going to have to help them out, but you already do that anyway, right? Every child is going to get a personal harmony goals chart. And here's what you're going to do with it. Whatever you wrote down as the challenge, you're going to write it on the chart. For them, you're going to write it down. For younger kids, it doesn't have to be three. Let me say that again. For younger kids, it doesn't have to be three. You can start off with one. And as the year goes on, you can add one or two as you see it in the classroom. So you'll write down their challenge, working on being frustrated, working on anger, working on low self-esteem, whatever that is, you're going to write it down for them. And when we go to meet up, you're going to have them be mindful and think about how they're doing. You understand what I'm saying? They're going to take a moment to think about themselves, to think about their behavior. We all the time tell them, think about what you did, and then don't give them time to do it. Does that make sense, everybody? We are putting in a designated time for them to think about themselves and their behavior. Does that make sense, everyone? We're going to build it and put it into our time. So those are, let's see. Hold on one second. Those are the harmony goals, the personal harmony goals. Okay? Now, that's the starting place when you use harmony. How should we treat each other when we are together? We agree on top the top three things. And then what do I need to work on? Maybe, maybe one of your children, they don't like to share. And every time, or, or maybe they bring in something and they don't, they bring in something to play with, but they don't want anybody else to play with it, right? We've seen this. We want them to be a better sharer. We want them to be kind. Whatever that is, you'll write it and you will give them a moment to think about it. Now, how will we think about, oh, sorry, how will we hold them accountable and build community? We're going to do that in meetups. We're doing that in meetup. Here is the meetup activity. 
it's very similar to things you already do, but it's much more intentional. In Meetup, you are going to get into a circle. Preferably a standing circle, but it depends, you know, whatever your children are able to, able body to do. We prefer it to be a standing circle, but it could be a sitting circle. That's fine. No problem. In your meetup, here is what we're doing. The children are going to get together and actively work on their community. You know, I had a time to think about this when I joined Harmony, and I thought to myself, one of the first lessons we learned, what's, what, what was one of the first lessons on Sesame Street? These are the people in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood. Am I, am, I, am I aging myself? Is there somebody that has no idea what I'm talking about? Am I alone? Am I on an island? Right? Remember that lesson? Uh-huh. So in that lesson, we learned about the fireman and the store owner and the doctor and the policeman. But guess what? The children are a part of the community too, aren't they? And aren't their families a part of the community? Well, guess what? Community takes work. Community takes inclusion of everybody, and everybody has to play their part. So children are getting an early lesson in playing their part in the community. Does that make sense, everybody? They are going to learn, and in Meetup, you are going to create a positive classroom environment. You are going to create a sense of belonging and inclusion. Every child's going to get the spotlight in Meetup. Now, some of, kids, some of your kids are going to love it. Some of your kids are going to be running for the hills. Some of your kids are going to be dealing with anxiety. Oh, my gosh, everybody's eyes are on me. I don't want everybody's eyes on me. You'll support them through it. Okay? You'll support them through it. Every child's going to get an opportunity to have every eye in the classroom focused on them. Let's look to see how it goes. These are the four steps of meetup. Okay. The first one is called the greeting. There are three parts in the greeting. I hope you, I hope you will, sorry if allergies, write them down. There are three steps in the greeting. Number one, there's the salutation. This is not on the slide. Number one, there's the salutation. Number two, you must say each other's name. Number three, you must have a hand gesture of some kind, a thumbs up, a double thumbs up, a high five, uh, a TikTok dance thingy, whatever the thingy is, yeah? Those three components must be a part of Meetup. Salutation, you must say each other's name and a hand gesture of some kind, peace sign. Thumbs up. That's the greeting. Step two, sharing and responding. You as the facilitator will choose two students, three students if you have the time, and each child will share anything they want with the class within reason. And of course, you want to make sure it's appropriate. We don't want to hear what mommy and daddy were doing. Um, we want to make sure that every child gets a spotlight. They get to have all the eyes on them, okay? But here's the key. Once they share, they have to ask, does anybody have any questions or comments for me based on what they heard? So maybe you pick Johnny, and Johnny says, it's my birthday, on, uh, it's my birthday tomorrow, and mommy is taking me to Chuck E. Cheese, okay? Now they shared. Now the rest of the children are going to either make a comment or ask a question. Does anybody have a question for Johnny? What day are you going? I'm going, and then Johnny answers. I'm going on Saturday. Uh, who else is going with you? It's going to be me, my mom, my sister, my dad, and my friend. Or someone may have a comment. Maybe the comment is, I just went to Chuck E. Cheese. Make sure you get the pepperoni pizza. It's awesome. Does that make sense, everybody? There must be a share and there must be a response from the children. 
This is how we engage. Make sense? Step three. This is where we check on the harmony goals, the harmony goals. This is where we check in. You are going to manage this process. You're either going to let the kids talk about their classroom harmony goals, or it's going to be quiet or relatively quiet, and they're going to check in on their personal harmony goals. Johnny, I know sometimes you get really frustrated. How did you do this week? Were you frustrated a lot? Were you frustrated a little bit? Let's talk about that, right? Have you ever met an adult that doesn't know how to manage their emotions, who doesn't know how to talk about their feelings? Yeah? They didn't get the skills early on. No one taught them how to talk about their feelings and their emotions. That's why it's so awesome that National Head Start is doing this because you are going to make somebody a great spouse. <laughs> I digress. So we want to get them early to talk about how they're feeling and be able to express it. So you're either going to talk about class harmony goals or you're going to talk about personal harmony goals, either one, not both because you're supposed to be doing this every day. And then the very last thing you're going to do, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm getting close on time. We gotta do this together. Um, then we're gonna give you some uh, principal resources that you can use to get the children to um, think about and talk about their emotions. And then the last step four is going to be an activity that you do together. You can either do a mindful minute, or you can do a community building activity. Does that make sense, everybody? Have you ever done mindfulness in your classroom? Yeah, have you ever had the kids do deep breaths? How do my shoulders feel? How do my fingers feel? How do my toes feel? Yeah, so you can do either one. Now, we're gonna do this right now. Remember I told you I'm gonna need everybody's face on the screen? This is the time we're going to do meet up all together and i need everybody to be all in faces on the screen i'm going to stop sharing raquel melissa except for the ones who said their cameras um their cameras don't work mia elizabeth sandra arlise becky hey i gotta go to the third page give me a second gabriella Cecilia, Lola, Kayla, I need to see your beautiful faces. Hannah, Marcella, I got to go to page four. Pamela, Stephanie, Heather, Christy, Courtney, Kelly. I'm sure if I had time, I could make a good song. Lisa, Rebecca, Letty. No problem. But everybody who can, I got you, Tabitha. Anybody who can, turn their cameras on. Let's do meetup right now. The first part of meetup is the greeting. Remember the greeting. Salutation, we say each other's name, and then we do, um, and then we do a hand gesture. I need a volunteer to do it with me. Who wants to volunteer? Raise your hand. I can't see everybody, there are four pages. Who wants to volunteer? No worries. No worries, Raquel. No worries, Arlise. Who wants to volunteer? If you don't I'll volunteer, volunteer. I'm vol you got one, hey, Jennifer. Jennifer. Okay. Hey, Jennifer. Okay. So are you ready? Jennifer, do you know any languages? I know English. Ah, me too. But <laughs> I also know <laughs> I also know a little bit of my family language. So my mother is American and my father is um Southwest African, he's Namibian. And in our language, to, uh, our language is Herero, right? And in Herero, to say hello is Nawa. Everybody say it, Nawa. 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 So we're gonna say hello to each Nawa. other in, her, in Herero, and then we're gonna give each other a, uh, I'm gonna give you the hand gesture, and then you're gonna do it, Jennifer, with another guest. Make okay. sure you pick somebody that's not paying attention. All yes. right, so ready, Jennifer? Now what, Jennifer? Now what? Uh, yeah, Hi, Nicole. Nicole nope. Helfman. Nope, nope, nope. 
We got to oh. finish it. Oh. There's three parts. Remember salutation, name, hand gesture. So, Red, let's start again. Okay. Now what, Jennifer? <laughs> now what? Uh, say it back to me. Now what? Uh, Nako, how, um, good to see you. Nako. Nako. Are you doing your th I'm, I'm doing, doing double thumbs, thumbs up. up. I, well, I got to hold my double computer. Thumbs up. <laughs> I'm trying to okay, hold my laptop. Okay, good. Oh, <laughs> I got it. I got it. All right, now do, do it just like we did it with another, with another um, participant. Okay. Hello, Nicole. Uh, we said Nawa. Nawa, Nicole. Okay. Yeah. Now, Jennifer. Yeah. Now, Jennifer. What happened to the double? Oh, there you go. There you go, Nicole. Awesome. Nicole, <laughs> just to make sure everybody's got it, do one more person. Now, Sarah. You're muted, Sarah. Now in the call. Awesome. Fa fantastic and fabulous. So that is, everyone, the meetup. This is giving every child an opportunity to belong. Oh, wait a minute. That's the greeting. I got to do the sharing and responding. I know I'm pressed for time, but I want to do this sharing and responding to give everybody a chance. That's the greeting. Now I'm going to pick somebody to share. Crystal Sanford Brown. Hello. Hi, Crystal, I want you to share anything you want with the group. And after you finish sharing, love those glasses, ask anyone if they have any questions or comments for you. Anything you want, share. Do I do the greeting or I'm just sharing? No, we're, we're to step two of the meetup. We did the greeting. Now we're doing the sharing and responding. I am going to the zoo this weekend and I can't wait to see the polar bears. Ask us, do we have any questions or comments for you? Does anybody have any questions or comments? Have you seen- Raise your hand and ask. I see Tony has a, t t Tanya or Tonya? Tanya. Tanya. Tanya, ask your question Tanya? or give your comment. Are you going to be looking for any other animals besides polar bears while you're at the zoo? Yes, thank you, Tanya. I am. You know, I live in Michigan and it is really cold here. So I am going to see if I see, hmm, if I see giraffe out. You think I'll see giraffe? I hope so, but it's kind of cold. So maybe the giraffe will be in his habitat. Oh, what's the habitat? Habitat is another <laughs> word for home. Thank you. I do remember that now. Awesome, Crystal. Thank you, Crystal and Tanya. That was awesome. And just how it's going to go, right? Just how it's gonna go, I love it. So that is the sharing and responding. Step three, where you would check in on your harmony goals, right? So whatever you put up around the room, you would either check on your class harmony goals. So you'll ask the class, um, oh, we said we wanted to be, I'm pointing to the harmony goals. We said we wanted to be more helpful people. How do you think we're doing? And the class will give their um, will give their opinion about how you think how they think we're all we are all doing right. We are collectively responsible for this. We all win or we are all not doing well. Does that make sense, everybody? We want to create buy-in for community. We're doing well as a community or we're not doing well as a community. And what can we do to get better? So it's less of a tattletale pointy pointy. It's more of a, what can we all do to be better? Does that make sense, everyone? Or you will check on your personal harmony goal um, and the children will talk about what they are um, working on. Does that make sense? And then the last activity we will do all together is this. Here you go. This is on a, con a quick, con quick connection card. When I count to three, you are all gonna give me a smile. 
spreading any way you want to give your smile. All right? We're all going to give a smile when I count to three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Let me check all three pages. Wait, keep the, oh, I like your smile, Mia. Mia's smile had, had happy hands with it. I love it. Thank you, Olga. Oh, beautiful, Nicole. Thank you, Lola. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love it. I love it. Listen, I have had teachers draw a smile and hold the paper up to the screen. There's no wrong answer. Any expression of the children is totally fine as long as they participate. Does that make sense? So the quick connection cards are like that. So as we wrap up, I want to show you the quick, the harmony, because I know between now and the time we get together again, I know you all, I know educators. Some of you are going to be like, oh, I, I want to get started right away. I want to look at this stuff. I want to start tomorrow. Some of you, some of you all are overachievers. You all, you overachievers like to get started on everything right away. I know you. So I want to show you the link, and if I could get one of my colleagues to put it in the um, to put it in the chat, so that between this time and when we get together again to talk about Buddy Up, you can have a chance to go on the portal. This is the Harmony Online Learning Portal. The link is going to be in the chat. Hold on, let me see if it's there yet. There it is. Thank you, uh, Johnette. Thank you. The link is in the chat. Everything you need to work on your harmony goals or to work on meetup is here. Let me show you. If I click on meetup, look at what happens. I get the description of meetup. I get the objectives of meetup and look at the bottom. Here are all my principal resources. Everything you need, you do not have to go anywhere else. Okay? You've got your meetup planner. You've got your meetup steps. You've got your response prompts. Okay? You've got your mindful minute activities. Everything you need to execute is all and to remind yourself of what we talked about today. So I'm going to give you a charge. One of the first questions I'm going to ask you when we get together and get on the night is what you what you discovered. I won't forget. I'm going to ask you what you discovered. When you're looking up the quick connection cards, you can either print them out or you can display them virtually. Here are those quick connection cards. The Pass a Smile is on the Community Builder. Does that make sense, everybody? So let's wrap up. We talked about creating harmony goals. We talked about levels of accountability. We talked about belonging in the meetup, right? And the different very intentional activities that you will use in meetup. I gave you the link so you can take a gander at that power at that uh, portal, look up your quick connection card, see what you want to use. What are you going to do to get ready for meetup? How are you going to get your children to get in that circle, to greet, to share, to connect? to share, to talk about harmony goals. What are you going to do to create your harmony goals? Two more bits of information. We have a harmony game room app. Overachievers probably want to look at this one too. You can find it anywhere you find your app, Mac Store, Google Play. And so remember, on 2 9 uh, we will get together again. I'm going to talk about Buddy Up. And we'll go delve deeper and spend a little bit more time in the portal. Does that make sense, everybody? So my, my charge to you is this. What are you going to do to get ready for meetup? Is any, are any of you going to start it before we meet again? Just curious. And then I'm going to ask you what you discovered from the uh, Harmony Online Learning Portal. You can also check out our um, portal for webinars on social emotional development. Any questions for me? I know we're a couple minutes over time. I'm sorry. Um, any questions for me? Don't be afraid. If you want to send me the question, uh, if you want to send me the question 
uh, directly. Maybe you, I, I have a cousin like that. My cousin is, was a teacher for 30, 40 years, but she was still very shy. So whenever she wanted to ask a question of anything, she would direct her to tell somebody on the side to ask it. Any questions? I'm sorry, I was supposed to mute. Let me give you a second to ask or put it in the chat. Or She had mentioned that we would all, that the classrooms would get the, these kits. I was just curious, is that going to go to all the Head Starts or just the people who attended the trainings, their facility? Good question. Let me let me defer. Let me defer to um, Rachel on that one. Sure. So the kits are going to go to all of you who have attended part one and part two of this training. Um, if some, if there is a representative from your program there, we will send you as many kits as you would like for your instructional staff. So you can get in touch with me directly and let me know if you'd like more than one, and we'll make sure that that happens. Okay. So we just need to. Contact who, you directly. Yep. So when you registered, you gave us an address, and that yes. is where your kit will be sent once both part one and part two of this webinar are complete. So if there's one kit headed your way, no problem. If you need more than that, I'll just ask you to reach out to me. Let me know how many you need, and I'll work with the Harmony team to make sure that they get to you. Thank you so much. Well, can you put your email? Any in other the questions? Thing? Yes, you will be receiving a follow up email from this webinar that will have today's recording uh, access more instructions to get into the portal in case you haven't done so yet. Uh, a PDF of the slides that you saw today and my email will be there so you can get in touch with me with any questions that you have and to ask for um, additional kits if you need more than one. So just watch your email. You will be getting that later this week. Um, in case you don't want to wait for the email and you just want to send me your questions now, I will drop my email in the chat for you. Uh, it's rhutchison at nhsa.org. Any other questions? Anybody going to start between now and next week? Anybody planning on doing that? Anybody plan on starting meetup? Just curious. I saw Sarah's hand go up. I cannot wait to hear what you have to say the next time we meet. I see you, Letty. That's awesome. Um, I can't wait to see what happens. So thank you so much for your time. Uh, I tried not to bore you to tears. Did I do all right? I tried. Uh, if I did, I can take it. You could tell me. Try. You're going to have to uh, dance on the chair next time. Um, so I thank you for your time, everyone. Um, I'll see you next time. Take care of yourself. Put your mask on first. Yeah, take care of you so that you can take care of everyone, everyone else. Do something just for you. It's all the week. Thursday's the start of the weekend, everybody. Have an awesome, awesome weekend and do something just for you. Take care, everybody. Bye.